Hi, I'm Chief Musician Jenny Stokes with the United States Navy Band. Today I'm going to help you get started on playing the bassoon. First, I want to talk to you about the different parts of the bassoon and how to put them together. This is the bassoon ring. The bassoon is a double reeded instrument, which basically means it has two pieces of prepared wood tied together that vibrate to make a sound. The very first thing you need to do is to place your reed in a cup of room temperature water and leave it there for a few minutes. If you do this before putting the bassoon together, the reed is usually ready to go by the time you've gotten the instrument put together. Here we have the bassoon still in its case. The bassoon has many parts and is expensive and somewhat fragile, so be careful not to force anything when you're putting it together. The parts are the boot, the middle joints are called the wing joint and the long joint. Now on your bassoon, uh, your long joint is likely going to be longer and your bell is going to be shorter. My bassoon is cut a little bit differently, so it's gonna look different than yours. But we have the wing joint, the long joint, and the bell. We start with the boot. Take note of these holes on the bottom. That's where you're going to attach the seat strap once the bassoon is together. The boot has two holes here. We're gonna insert the middle joints into those two holes, starting with the wing. The wing joint, remember, is the shorter of the two. We're gonna insert, insert it into the smaller hole, being careful to line up these keys right here. And you'll note that the wing joint has kind of a, a circular cutout right here. That's to make room for the long joint, which is gonna go in next. So you can also line it up that way. The long joint goes in next being careful to line it up exactly with the wing joint. You shouldn't have to force anything, but do make sure that the pieces are completely in. Finally, we have the bell, which again, you'll remember is gonna be a little bit shorter than mine because your long joint will be longer. And we're gonna put it on the long joint, lining up the keys right here. The last piece of the bassoon is the vocal. The vocal is the most fragile part of the bassoon, so only handle it right here at the crook. We call this the crook. It's the strongest part of the vocal. If you handle it a lot down here, um, it's too fragile for that. Take the cork end of the vocal, place it in the hole on the wing joint, and just rotate back and forth gently while applying downward pressure to get it down into the wing joint. You will see that the, the pinhole here will line up with this key. There are two ways to hold a bassoon, with a neck strap or a seat strap. Typically we pay, play with a seat strap. You're going to take your seat strap and lay it across your chair with the hook side hanging over the right hand side about six or eight inches. Then you're going to sit on the chair, being sure to apply some pressure with your thighs so the seat strap is solidly there. Then you're going to take the hook on the bottom of the seat strap and put it in the hole that, you, that I mentioned at the bottom of the boot. The vocal should be pointed at your mouth. If the bassoon is too low, you're going to adjust by gently lifting your thighs and pulling on the left-hand side of the seat strap to raise the instrument. If it becomes too high, then you'll do the opposite. Gently lift your thighs and pull down on the right-hand side to lower the instrument until it's the appropriate height for you, where the vocal is pointing straight at your mouth. Now your reed should be ready to play. Remember, a dry reed won't vibrate well, so be sure to soak it before playing. Shake off the excess water and place the reed onto the tip of your vocal. When handling a reed, always handle it on the end like this. It should go onto the vocal about a centimeter and line the reed up so it's pretty parallel to the floor. You can adjust it this way and that to find out what's most comfortable for you. Line your left thumb up with the bottom key on the wing joint. This is called the whisper key. Line your right thumb up with what we call the pancake key. Line your left pointer, middle, and ring fingers up with the corresponding holes on the wing joint. Your bassoon may have a key for your ring finger instead of a hole. Line your right pointer, middle, and ring fingers up with the corresponding holes and keys on the boot joint. The bassoon embouchure is very complicated. There are different schools of thought about how to make the best embouchure, and it's impossible for me to do it justice in one short video. Please research more information about this topic for a well-rounded concept that works for you. But basically, the embouchure is made by placing the reed about one-third into your mouth. 
about right here. You're going to cover both your top and bottom teeth with your lips. Place the bottom of the reed on your bottom lip, about a third in, and then bring your top lip, which is covering your teeth, to the top of the reed. Some bassoonists play with an overbite like this, while others, like me, have their lips more even. Okay, we are ready to play the first note. Press down with your left thumb on the whisper key that we identified earlier. Also cover the first hole on the wing joint with your left pointer finger. Nothing else will be pressed down for this first note, which is E. Take a nice breath, get your embouchure ready, and blow into the reed like you're blowing into a whistle. Now we will learn two more notes so we can play a short song. D is the same as E with the addition of your middle left finger. C follows by adding your ring finger. Remember, your ring finger may have a key, not a hole. The whisper key will be pressed with your left thumb for all three of these notes. E will sound the highest. D will sound a bit lower and C will sound the lowest. Can you guess what song we can play with these three notes? I hope this helps you gain a better understanding of how to get started on the bassoon. Thanks for watching.